Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can block unwanted emails uh, and junk uh, emails inside Outlook. Now, you can also do this in a lot of other email clients. And if you want to see some of those videos on how to set them up, then let me know in the comments section below. Or you can post over on my forums there to let me know what you'd like to see, like Gmail and whatnot. So let's get started with this one. So here we have Outlook. Uh, this is 2013. And if you want to see the newer versions or the older versions, then let me know. They are slightly different because obviously uh, times have changed uh, with different software. But let's take a look at this one. So as you can see, I've got an email client I've just quickly set up here. And, and just to show you what the junk email looks like. Now you can filter these out uh, using the junk email options. So you can see here we have our inbox and our junk and also uh, our spam folder. So the, the normal way to uh, deal with uh, junk email, you'll get a lot of people telling you to unsubscribe to some of those newsletters that normally bombard you. You can see this uh, Channel Pro does heavily bombard you with quite a few uh, emails. Um, so what you want to do to stop those, a lot of people will tell you to look at the email and come down the bottom and unsubscribe. That's very dangerous uh, when you're clicking on links here. Now I do know Channel Pro is a, a a reputable site and it's not dangerous so I'm just going to show you the method that they would tell you to do so you see here email uh, manage email preferences here this will take you to a place if you hover over it will tell you the link that it's going to take you to and uh, that's where you've got to be careful because this could be a dodgy uh, link that you're clicking on and that would also could infect you with ransomware and you could have also other problems from that so I would not click on any of these so you can see here um, if you click on this here what that's going to do is going to take you to another a page open up a page in your browser and take you to there and then it will give you your email address and it will say this is what you've signed up for you can see here there's a lot of areas here that we've been signed up for now if you want to unsubscribe there's an area down the bottom here saying please unsubscribe me uh, from uh, all Channel Pro emails. If you click on this, this will remove you from their mailing list. Now that's okay if you know what you're doing, but you've got to be careful that some spam or junk emails are malicious, and if you go clicking on them links, you could end up getting infected. So be very, very careful, okay, when doing this method. Uh, you have to know the source of where that's come from if you want to unsubscribe from that person, okay? So that's why you've got to be very careful there now once you've done that th that should be it you should not receive any more of these uh, emails from that uh, person now sometimes if that doesn't help or it doesn't work you can always email that person or the support team directly and say could you take me off your mailing list and if that still doesn't work you can then block them uh, there's that method as well now if you don't want to go clicking on any of these uh, links here then uh, you don't have to you can just block them if you wanted to and that would stop them from coming in they'll just go into your junk email so if you're not a, um, if you're a bit afraid of clicking on stuff like this you've got to be a bit careful there and just add them into your okay so let's move on to the next step now if we right click on here we've got the junk area here and you can see block sender this will block that sender from sending emails to you now if I do this, block sender, a pop-up box will pop up, click OK, and now we can look at the junk email options here. Let's have a look at the junk email options. Now if we look at the block senders list, you can see they've been added to the block sender list. That means they can't send me any more emails. They're going to go straight into my junk uh, email area. Now also there's another area which is in the options area which lets you set up your strength of your security or level of security here. Now by default in 2013, uh, Outlook 2013, it says no automatic filtering is set. Now this means that mail from block senders is still moved to your junk email folder. That means every email that you have set up in here will automatically go to your junk email folder. So if you want to set this up to a higher level of security, you can do. Now, these are grayed out here, as you can see. If I put the low settings here, you can see 
move the most obvious junk emails to the junk email folder. And now we have a couple of other options ticked here. And this is disable links and other functionality in phishing messages. Now these are those phishing messages are like those fake uh, emails that you get from your bank that aren't from your bank they're from some malicious person that's trying to get you to log into your bank from that email and then they get all your details and then they steal all your money that's what that's going to try and block and it disables all the links that's a very good thing because that means all the links will be disabled on those and you can see here warn me about suspicious domain names in email addresses recommended that's another uh, good area to have ticked as well now there is this area that's unticked and this is where you want to leave this alone on all of these settings you never ever want to have permanently delete suspected junk emails instead of moving them to the junk email folder now let me explain why you don't want to have this ticked if you have this ticked what that's going to do is this is giving uh, the junk email options area permission to deal with all your junk emails and that means that it could delete good emails that sometimes get sent to the junk email area by mistake and that does happen quite a lot the higher up the security level here you go the more likely that you're going to get emails good emails being sent to the junk email area and this will just delete them so you definitely don't want to put this tick in okay now if we move up to the next area which is high you can see here most junk email is caught but some regular mail may be caught as well check your junk email folder often now this is telling you that some email may get sent to the junk email and you need to uh, route through this regular okay now if you had this text as well what that's going to do is just delete all those now if you've got good email going to that area it's going to delete those and you definitely don't want that so that's why you don't want this ticked now there is another uh, thing that you can do which is the safe list which is here and if you look at the safe list only, only mail from people or domains on your safe senders list or safe recipients list will be delivered to your inbox. Now you can set that up by selecting people that you want uh, to have. So let me just show you that. We have got no safe senders here or recipients here. So what we're going to do is click OK. We've got that set up. So what we can do is come down and try to find someone from here let's just say Lisa Hendrickson here and we're just gonna right click on this go to junk and we don't want to block we want to never block sender and if she's on a domain we want to never block senders domain if they're on the domain name uh, okay so we're gonna never block sender you're gonna get this pop-up and this person will never be blocked again let's go back into the junk area here junk email options then go into safe senders and now you can see that person has now been added to our safe senders now in the options area because she's been added to the safe senders list uh, it doesn't mean that you have to have this option ticked we could still have I can remove this person we could still have this set up to low if we wanted to and I could still add Lisa into that um, never block sender list so let me just quickly show you this junk email options save senders and she's in there you see now you'd list all these out now a good thing with this uh, save senders list only if you've got say five people that send you emails on a regular basis and that is it you can just add those into your safe lists okay safe senders list and uh, basically you would see emails from those people and you everything else would be blocked here so you can see this is just a list of people that you trust uh, that's the way that's set up so only mail from people on the domain or safe senders list you would receive those uh, emails from so that's a really good way if you've just a small user of emails you've only got two or three four or five people that actually send you stuff and you can set up this uh, email sent to addresses on a domain name also you can set this up too by adding them in manually or you can right click and add them in the way you want to add them in as well so let's take a look at the international area so the international area is some email messages you receive might be written in languages you are unfamiliar with and you don't want to read these messages can be marked as junk or moved to the junk email folder 
So this is what this is. And you can see here the top level domain codes such as .ca, .mx, or .us. And this will be the area here. You can click on this and add these in. So if you're getting emails from these uh, people uh, like that, you can block these as well. And you just put the ticks in. So basically, uh, let me just uh, quickly have a look through here. Here as you can see here, Nigeria. And if you wanted to block those and you was getting some from that with the that extension on them, you can block them. And if you was getting them from Mexico, that would be MX, as you can see here. I think CA might be California or something, I'm not sure. Or US, you can add them in. Okay. And also, uh, you can clear all these as well if you wanted to. Okay. Now, also down the bottom here, we've got the blocked encoding, encoding list. And this is characters of each language are... Uh, contained in a special encoding of character set. So this is basically uh, what you can see here. You can set this up and you can select it. So if you don't want to send anything from here, you sometimes get those emails and they've got all Chinese writing on them or something like that, and you don't want to block, and you want to block those, you can do uh, from here. And this would be set up in that way. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you can set up uh, your junk email options to filter out those pretty straightforward now you're not just doing them in your junk area you can also do these as they come in on your inbox as they come into the inbox you can add them to the safe senders list and you can also filter them that way and eventually what will happen is you shouldn't get any more junk email uh, getting through and if it does it will be filtered into the junk email area and you may just get the odd one or two of good email going in there as long as you don't set this up too high I mean if you obviously set it to high you might get quite a few going in there um, at the beginning but you need to set this up it takes a bit of time but once you uh, get used to it it's pretty straightforward and easy to do anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up I think that's uh, about it for this video I hope you find this one useful my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I do upload new videos and also if you've got any problems with computers any video requests head over to the forums and if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page pop over there and give us a little like up over there it doesn't cost you anything and remember guys if you get this set up right you're going to keep yourself a lot more safe it's just another layer of security that you're trying to do and remember, a lot of malware, ransomware does come through emails. So just bear that in mind. Okay?